KNC Sports First is brought to you by 76 Circle K. Top of day, sports fans. Welcome back. I'm Leo Piumo. It is Thursday, and this is PNC Sports First. Coming up, a brand new fast episode featuring an athlete in the Guam Basketball League from the KFC Bombers. But first, we go straight to the St. John soccer field for girls' high school playoffs. That's right, the eighth place Knights and the ninth place Okuru Bulldogs in an elimination game to get to the quarterfinals on Saturday. St. John's Jenna Han would be the hero in this match as she would score two goals in the second half after being down 1-0 at halftime. St. John's will now face the number one seed, the GW Geckos, next. Now, according to John's, uh, St. John's coach, Ross Awa, no team really is standing out this season. Uh, it's been a roller coaster for the majority of some of the teams, but it's overall, there's not one team that's really completely standing out over the rest. Coach, good luck. In other games, the St. Paul Warriors beat the JFK Islanders 2-1 with goals coming from Chloe Miranda and Lily Franklin. St. Paul's will meet up with the number two seed now, the ND Royals. And the Sanchez Sharks also eliminated the Southern Dolphins. They will now play the number three seed, the Academy of Our Lady Cougars, tomorrow at the GFA Field. And now it's time for our latest fast episode. Today, it's KFC Bombers' Trey Raheem. Hey, my name is Raheem Trahan. I play for the KFC Bombers at Small Ford in the Guam Basketball League. Describe yourself in three words. Determined, committed, and one way. What do you like about the sport that you're playing? I love the competitiveness. I like the speed, the tempo of the game, and I just love how the game is, is unpredictable. Who's your favorite sport personality? Uh, Steph Curry. Who's your favorite sports team? The Anderson Bombers. I say the Anderson Bombers because we're, we're a lot more than just a team. You know, we're a family away from family. You know, we, we like to keep it close knit. How do you handle winning or losing a game? Uh, usually I just go back home whenever we see the, the tapes and go back over, see what I could have done better, see what we as a team could have done better. Same. Same, I still go back home, watch my videos, and see what I personally could have done better and how we can improve for the next game. I mean, there's, you can always be better. What's your least favorite thing about being in sports? Oh, I get addicted. Uh, I get real addicted to the game, and uh, it, it kind of takes away my time from, from other important things that are going on in my life. What do you do in the off season? I'm at home watching TV, Netflix, and. <laughs> what is your advice to up-and-coming athletes? Learn how to take constructive criticism, stay coachable, and don't let nobody tear you away from your dream. Chris Brown. That's what I like by Bruno Mars. Hash Browns. Red. Will Smith. Apple. Destiny. At the beach. Fast is brought to you by 76 Circle K and Bank of Hawaii. Welcome to tomorrow. And finally in the NBA, Boston Celtics. Today, Avery Bradley scored a playoff career high 29 points and the Celtics beat the Washington Wizards 123-101 to take a 3-2 lead in the Eastern Conference semifinals. John Wall had 21 for the Wizards. Well, that's going to do it for sports on this Thursday. I'm heading over to the St. John's Gym for a double I double AG boys middle school basketball game between two undefeated boys teams. For PNC Sports First, I'm Leo Paimo. See you tomorrow. Z Sports First is brought to you by 76 Circle K.